1980s New Zealand was a booming environment. Country Calendar won Best Information at the Feltex Television Awards. And the New Zealand music industry was on the verge of taking flight. Seeing the popularity of such bands as AHA, the New Zealand government decided to create the first New Zealand boy band. Vintage footage of this project has been recovered and we are now proud to bring you the exclusive untold story of the Wham! Initiative. June 1983 in rural New Zealand, two unsuspecting boys' lives were about to change. Um, Brett and um, used to be a steel worker. Yeah, I'm Daryl. Uh, I answered Ed basically saying, do you want to be a star? I mean, who doesn't want to be a star? Only three people showed up due to a misprint in the newspaper ad. The three auditioners were put through a test shoot for a music video, which resulted in one member being dropped. The two men left, Brent, a steel worker from the Deep South, and Daryl, a then recently unemployed butcher, were now the founding members of the first New Zealand boy band. Within mere hours of being accepted into the band, the duo were sent into the studio to cut their first single. It quickly became apparent to the producer, Nicky B, that the two boys couldn't sing, something they foolishly hadn't tested for in auditions. In the swamp of love, ah, love, and up to my nipples of love. Yes, it's true, we didn't audition the boys for their singing abilities in the auditions, but to me, I didn't think there was a problem because I believed that no matter what, they can always fall back on their signature looks. The next step was to decide on a name for the duo. After a few initial suggestions from the producers, the name Boys Plus was decided upon. Plus what? Plus, plus, plus what? Well, I think that's the point of it, the amb ambiguity. It's good for me because I've never been able to subtract, eh? Nicky Brick, or Nicky B as he was known in the industry, was with the band from the dawn of the initiative. I have worked overseas for a little bit with various artists and various producers, uh, but I did fall foul with a few people and I had a bit of an unlucky streak. Uh, so I decided to come back to New Zealand and try my luck at my home market. So these gold records here, um, no they're not actually mine, I bought them as a reminder of the dreams I wish to achieve where I'd like to go in life and what can be done if you set your mind to it. I truly believe that. So, uh, Swamp Love, I mean, it's a great song. I'd basically came up to the piano and went and it was magic from there. Uh, I don't actually think I'm going to do that again. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a good song. Yeah, so we were uh, filming uh, Swamp Love and it was pretty scary. Uh, Brent took a left to the mouth and uh, he had a allergic reaction. Uh, we had to go to the hospital and that actually was yet kind of funny when I think about it. Around the same time, Boys Plus entered into the studio. Various rumours had begun appearing in the tabloids about George Michael and other boy band members. The decision was made to change the direction of the band to gain similar free tabloid exposure. This stylistic change was expressed through the art for their debut album titled Single. The album garnered vicious consumer backlash, as despite being marketed as a double album, it contained only one track. If people complained it was a double album with only one song, but it, it wasn't, I think there was, a, there was a marketing error, it wasn't really a double album, it was one album with a free frisbee. The album art in particular was lambasted as offensive and universally criticised by the LGBT community as exploitive and desperate. This feedback was particularly ill-timed as their single Love Swamp had just hit the airwaves and consequently peaked at the pitiful position of 41. It also didn't help that around this time, a particularly damaging video was leaked to the media. It was me in the video. I'll admit that. I did that. I did it. I did that entire 
action in the video. So I, I'm really enjoying being in the Boys Plus. And I, I hope I hope we're around forever, you know. Hope hope we get another another record. Oh, this is a great gig. Uh, I couldn't imagine. I mean, when I was a butcher, this. Uh, well, I hope it never ends. I'll probably commit suicide. It does. After a year of preparation and just over half a million taxpayers' dollars being poured into the scheme, the members of government unanimously decided to dissolve the initiative. Today, the boys of Boys Plus now work in the insurance industry, though the bond the duo formed during their short time of near pop stardom has kept them close. To this day, they still get together once a year to relive their days of glory. Swamp, 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 swamp